My blood will nourish the tree that will bear the fruits of freedom. Tell my people that I love them. They must continue the fight. Solomon Kalushi Malangu was born on the 10th of July, 1956, in Mamelodi, a township outside Pretoria, South Africa. He was the second son of Martha Malangu, a domestic worker, and Albert Malangu, a bricklayer who left the family when Solomon was young. Solomon was a bright and promising student, but his education was interrupted by the Soweto Uprising of 1976. The Soweto Uprising was a series of demonstrations and protests led by black school children in South Africa under apartheid that began on the morning of the 16th of June, 1976. The protests were sparked by the government's decision to make Africans, the language of the white minority, a compulsory medium of instruction in black schools. On the day of the uprising, an estimated 10,000 to 20,000 students from Soweto schools gathered at Orlando Stadium to protest the Afrikaans' language policy. The police responded to the protest with tear gas and gunfire, killing an estimated 176 people, most of them students. The uprising spread to other parts of South Africa, and over the next few months, thousands more people were killed. The Soweto uprising was a watershed moment in the history of apartheid. In the wake of the uprising, the South African government cracked down on black schools, and Solomon was forced to leave school after Standard 8. In 1977, Solomon joined the African National Congress, ANC, the leading anti-apartheid organization in South Africa. He was sent for military training in Angola and then infiltrated back into South Africa to carry out sabotage attacks on the apartheid government. On the 11th of June, 1977, Solomon and two other MK operatives, Monty Motlung and George Malang, were involved in an exchange of fire with the police in Johannesburg. Two civilians were killed in the crossfire, and Solomon and his comrades were arrested. Solomon was charged with two counts of murder and several other charges under the Terrorism Act. He was tried in a white-only court and found guilty. He was sentenced to death by hanging. On the 6th of April, 1979, Solomon Malangu was hanged at the Pretoria Central Prison. He was just 22 years old. Solomon Malangu's death was a major turning point in the struggle against apartheid. His execution was widely condemned both inside and outside of South Africa. It helped to galvanize international support for the ANC, and it inspired a new generation of anti-apartheid activists. Today, Solomon Malangu is remembered as a hero of the South African liberation struggle. He is a symbol of the courage and sacrifice of those who fought for freedom and democracy in South Africa. In 2005, Solomon Malangu was posthumously awarded the Order of Mendi for bravery and gold. This is the highest award for bravery that can be given to a South African citizen. Solomon Malangu's legacy lives on. His story is a reminder of the importance of fighting for justice and equality, even in the face of great danger. His courage and sacrifice continue to inspire people around the world. Here are some additional details about Solomon Malangu's life and death. He was born into a poor family in a township outside of Pretoria, he was a bright and promising student, but his education was interrupted by the Soweto Uprising of 1976. He joined the ANC in 1977 and was sent for military training in Angola. He was infiltrated back into South Africa in 1977 to carry out sabotage attacks on the apartheid government. He was arrested on the 11th of June, 1977, and found guilty of murder and other charges under the Terrorism Act. He was sentenced to death by hanging and executed on the 6th of April, 1979. He was just 22 years old when he died. He is remembered as a hero of the South African liberation struggle. He was posthumously awarded the Order of Mendi for bravery in gold in 2005. Solomon Malangu's Legacy Solomon Malangu's legacy is one of courage, sacrifice, and hope. He is remembered as a hero of the South African liberation struggle, and his story continues to inspire people around the world. His death was a major turning point in the struggle against apartheid, and it helped to galvanize international support for the ANC. Malangu's courage and sacrifice are an inspiration to all who fight for justice and equality. He is a reminder that even in the face of great danger, 
it is always worth fighting for what is right. His legacy lives on and his story will continue to be told for generations to come. If you find this video inspiring and helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.